Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn about general setting and how you can use them in Shopify. So in the previous video, you learn about sections. We added section, we created our own section and each section had settings like username, you can add bio, you can add image picker and you can display them in your website. How about if you want this setting to be accessible in the footer, in the header or on any other page, anywhere in your website. You cannot do that using setting, using section. The way you do that using general settings. Where is the general setting? It is in the theme sections here. I call it general setting, someone else might call it something else because these settings that is stored in the theme setting tab here uh, that include color, typography, social media, favicon, whatever, you can add them, you can delete them. These settings will be easily accessible anywhere in your theme. If I open the theme directory here, in the previous video we learned, and if I open the profile.liquid, this is the setting related to profile and you can access this one only here. If you want to access this setting in any other section, it is going to be hard. It is not possible with Liquid. Maybe you can do it using JavaScript and other stuff, but it is not possible with Liquid. So if you want a section to be a, uh, a setting to be accessible anywhere in your theme, that is called general setting, you can store it in your config settings underscore schema.json. And this is going to be all the general setting. Uh, currently it includes the Shopify theme information also and if I come to the theme here to the theme editor you can see the first option is color typography social media now I come to the code what is the name it is color since this has a lot of translation file it is true everything about other languages also so this is useful if you have like multilingual website but for us as developer, it is a little annoying to see all of these options. You may not use them, but for now they have it because the default theme for Shopify is multi-purpose for everyone. That's why they must have it for different languages. So for now, this one is for colors and colors has settings. What is the first setting? It has a content and it has a text uh, that it is stored here. It is the header. If I come to my setting, you click on the color, is, this is going to be the text. And after the text, you have the actual setting. The type is color, and the ID is going to be color text. If I come here, this is the heading and link. And if you set the type as color, it is going to be a color picker. You can pick a color, and you can select any other color. The only feature that this color picker is missing is the alpha value. You can have it none, but you cannot give it uh, transparent. For example, you can pick a color, you cannot make it transparent. That is the only feature the color picker is missing. Hopefully Shopify will make that uh, possible in the, in the future updates, but for now that's not possible using the color picker. So let's add some sections by our own. I will add another section above this one. So you can see, what is the section name? As I said, this is just going to be a test one, so I will add another one above this one. So the way you do this one, you will come here, this oh, I'm not going to duplicate anything but I will just name it now you will write the name of the section first and inside this one you will have your sitting so you can have it check out this one it has the name starting and it has ending here and once you put the name here after that you should write the settings and this sitting will be related to that one if you check out this name here it does not have to do anything with the sitting. It is not inside it, it is after it. So I will pause the video and do it behind the scene so to save some time. So here it is, I have added just a little mini court sitting. It has a name called mini court and a sitting which is an object. It is a little different than what you have here down there. Name is not an object for me. Name is just a direct value because I don't have a translation for this. That's why you can just call it uh, well, uh, just pass a value for this one. For the sitting, it is the same. You can check out, you have sitting, you have, let's say, header, and the content is an object. For me, content is just a value called mini card. So let's check out it in our website. If I come here, you can see above the colors, I have mini card. And the mini card does not have anything. So you can add more sitting to this one. For example, I will add one more sitting to this one so you can see how it is going to work. And I will add an object and it has a type 
So the type is going to be text and it has an ID. You know the type it has it must have an ID and I'm going to test it test data and then I will give it a, you can give it a default value but I will give it just a label for now which are the required parameters label and this is going to be test data and if I save it if you are making any mistake it will not upload it for you make sure you check out your team watch if it is going to upload successfully for you it is fine otherwise you are making any mistake so if I refresh the page again now my mini car sitting must have a text input called a test data and I will show you how you can display it in your team so I will come my setting here is the test data now you can put any information here I'm going to say this data is just for testing and then you can save it once you save it this data will be saved if you're wondering where this data is going to be saved this is, will be saved in the setting data here so which is a JSON file you can use it this is going to be different than the one you have in your store I will talk more about this in a future video but for now it is still here how you can access it in the outside where I am going to display this one for now since this is just for the testing I will display above here to see how you can display any sitting information I will come to my layout then theme.liquid this is our template and I will display that above everything here so this is what I am going to display it. so again I will come here opening the brackets to output something and all you have to do is just write settings dot test underscore data test underscore data is again the ID now you do need to append any section because it is not a section this is directly a setting that comes from a general setting it does not limit to anything you can access those data anywhere in your page like this data here like this line of code you can write it any in any sections you can write it in any snippet you can write it in any template and it will output that data for you if I come to my theme here I will refresh it it should display those the data information we have in a theme setting above the header that we wrote so if I come to my theme setting mini card this is the data I have and it will display here if you want to update this one it should instantly update it for you in your page as soon as you type it and save it it should update it for you so that's it like how you can display it doesn't matter if, if that is an input color picker like is, is that an image it is going to work the same way as we had sitting in profile if you have an image picker this sitting will be exactly the same if you put it here so you can put an image picker all you have to do is just duplicate this one and change the type to image underscore picker also you are going to test the ID if the ID is the same it is not going to upload this one I'm going to say test underscore IMG and this is going to be test image if you save it for now just quickly coming here to my sitting and to mini card I will refresh it reload the page we don't want the changes also I will check out the theme watch it did upload successfully you will come to the sit theme sitting here mini card here is the test image picker you can pick an image and it will grab that image for you and you can display it anywhere you want you have font picker you have so many other options that we will discuss in the future videos but for now this is general sitting you can access this data anywhere in your page and this is very useful if you are developing the theme you need a general sitting that should be applied anywhere in your page so that's it for this video thank you for watching i've seen the next video